118 Scale Battlestar Galactica Viper Mark II by Dynamic Digital Creations. Kit review brought to you by Aussie Cylon. Welcome back, fellow modelers, to yet another kit review by Aussie Cylon. Today, I have a very special treat for all of you Battlestar Galactica fans out there. I've been waiting for this kit to arrive from Dynamic Digital Creations for a while. Now, if you haven't seen or heard of them, you can find them on Facebook. They do amazing stuff. This kit is actually one. 17 and a half scale, but I'm calling it 118 scale. Well, because it's close enough and you can probably modify a 118 scale figure to fit in the cockpit. As you can see, the parts are well packed to avoid damage during shipping from South Africa. Now guys, this is a resin kit, so a bit of modeling experience is recommended before taking on this project. Having said that though, I have been assured by Tony, the maker of this kit, that it is a very straightforward, easy kit to build. Okay, so this is what you get in the kit. Let's take a closer look. This first piece is the rear section of the main fuselage. It is very nicely molded, having only a few minor defects which are easily fixed with some sandpaper and some putty. It is a resin kit after all, so you would come to expect that anyway. As you can see, it is not a solid resin piece, so lighting this Viper should be a fairly straightforward proposition. Here's the forward section of the fuselage. Once again, it is very nicely molded. Tony has put lots of thought into making his kit as easy to build as possible. He has employed the use of locating tabs and hooks that allow the mating of the various pieces to be as effortless and stress-free as possible. Again, you can see there is plenty of room in there for electronics if you want to light up the Viper. The Viper's nose is a solid casting and again is beautifully moulded having only a couple of seam lines running along the sides. It's no big deal, some sandpaper will soon fix that. Here I will demonstrate how the locating tabs and hooks helps make building this Viper fairly straightforward. The two side engines are a solid casting and beautifully moulded, having only a couple of seam lines which are very easily fixed. Here I will demonstrate how the engines are attached to the fuselage. There is a cavity on the fuselage where the engines fit into for a snug fit. As you can see, this Viper is absolutely huge. The wings and top engine housing are again beautifully moulded having only very minor seam lines. I'll pick up one of the wings so you can see just how big they are. As you can see they are huge. I will compare this Viper to the Mobius Viper later on in this video, so keep watching. The exhaust nozzles and details are again an absolute work of art. There is a little bit of flashing on the landing gear and canopy, but it's no big deal. You can see a piece got broken during shipping, but that's easily fixed. These pieces are all crisply detailed and moulded. Oh, 
Tony has put a lot of effort into the cockpit details and they are very accurate. This is the early version cockpit and he also offers the later seasons version. The details are simply outstanding. I only wish that they were cast in clear to make lighting this easier. Tony offers two different rear detail panels. The grey one is from the actual life-size prop and the black one is from the CGI files. The other pieces are 3D printed engine piping and joysticks etc. Here are the two wing mounted guns. Once again, they are accurate and have great detail. A stand is also included in this kit. It is the Battlestar Galactica insignia and is simply beautiful to look at and perfectly cast. There are no instructions included in this kit. However, you do get full access to Tony's online Dropbox when you purchase one of his kits. There you will find full instructions, step-by-step build-up videos and heaps of other information to help you. If you have any questions or run into any problems, Tony is only too willing to help out. Seriously guys, do yourself a favour and go out and get one of these kits. I just can't wait to start this Viper. It looks like it will be a pretty straightforward build and the size of this thing is absolutely impressive. Tony is also releasing a Mark 7 Viper and told me a Mark 1 from the original TV show is in the works. Do yourself a favour and search Dynamic Digital Creations on Facebook and order one. I think this kit is an absolute must have for any serious Battlestar Galactica fan.